Connor Corbor. And I'm currently going to Harbor High School. And I next year I'm going to University of Nebraska, Omaha. And I've been on the Breakers for around eight years. The first Breakers team I was on was down in Watsonville and Carlos Carrillo was our coach and he was uh, really, uh, he was a big part in why I uh, developed and how I got better and he, uh, he uh, taught, me, taught me that uh, you have to believe that you're the best player on the field or else there's no point in playing the game and I stuck by that and I'm very thankful to have met him and to have played under him and then uh, coming to the academy with a lot more coaches was uh, another good experience. There was Efrain, Mike Ranieri, uh, Paolo, Francisco, Mike Rivas. They were all, they're all very different and uh, I learned lots of different things from all of them. The team has been, uh, we've, go we've gone through our ups and downs. We've, uh, we started off the year not so great and then uh, we had uh, a lot of players leave and then after that we beat the, the one of the best teams in the country with 12 players and that just uh, proved that you don't need a big squad or money to uh, get results against the best and hard work will always pay off no matter where you are or what team you're on. And um, I'd like to thank Efrain and Mike and Paolo and Francisco and Mike Rivas because uh, they're a big reason uh, of how I got into college for soccer. Um, when I first got on the team a couple years ago, I wasn't starting that much. I wasn't on the forward. I wasn't scoring as many goals. And this year, I've started almost every game. I've scored eight goals this year. Um, the different techniques they used in developing players really helped me personally because I became mentally stronger and uh, physically stronger and technically better, uh, all due to these coaches. And uh, getting into college is tough. You got to have the grades and you have to if you're playing soccer, you have to be dedicated and um, work 100% all the time in training and games. And um, you need to trust your teammates and you trust your coaches. If they're not picking you, you got to get over it and just prove to them when they play you that you can do a job. I only went to I went to two ID camps, one in UC Irvine, which I I didn't feel it, and then I went to uh, Nebraska, and it, it clicked straight away. The coach was amazing. The facilities were really nice. They're building a new stadium, and uh, the Omaha is a really nice city, and I'm really excited to go there next year.